lot of homophobia, a lot of misogyny, a lot of racism, a lot of Islamophobia, a lot of shit. But we've said it over and over again, and it's not lip service. We've been in this country for 17 years. We've been to more states than most people in America. I think Alaska is the only state we haven't visited. And I will tell you right now, this country is full of millions of beautiful people, amazing people, open-minded people, progressive people, incredible people. Our country is a very great country. And I agree with the sentiment that it didn't need to be made great again. It was already great. This is the time to pay attention. It's a time to talk to your family and friends. We cannot leave this moment without reconciling the racism and sexism and homophobia and Islamophobia that is alive and well in this country. We are better than that. And this is time. We've got to be aware of that. Don't move past this angry. Don't move past this motivated to make change. people from your beautiful country, it's marriage equality passed. This was a huge thing. But with every step forward, there are steps back. In the next two years, we are going to see an enormous amount of energy put into pushing LGBT rights back into the closet, back into 50 years ago. Yes. Yes. There's going to be a huge amount of pressure and money spent on pushing people back. That's not cool. If you haven't spent your time and energy investigating the Black Lives Movement, you should. for us. Oh, 
You can keep it all safe.